Kendall Jenner is kissing and telling. Selena gets sexy and teases a photo with a new man. And she's not the only one because Justin has a few teases of his own. All that and more on today's rundown. What is up, my friends? Welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. We are back. It is Thursday. We have a Woo! lot to talk about. We do, including where Kendall Jenner had her first kiss. Mm. Can you believe that her first kiss was in the shower? What? I know, how very seamy, Kendall, but the 20-year-old supermodel tells everyone it's not what we think. She explains in a post on her website app that she was actually in fifth grade and had the biggest crush on this guy named Chad Wilcox. Shout out to Chad Wilcox. And according to Jenner, she and her friend Jessica crushed on him for so long, so the two invited him over to Chris Jenner's house to play a little game of truth or dare. And apparently little sister Kylie was so annoying. She was spying on them. She would not leave them alone, asking what they were doing and following them. And so they had to go into the bathroom because it was the only door that had a lock. And she didn't want to kiss anyone in front of her friend Jessica and vice versa. So she went behind the shower, pulled the curtain closed, and they had their first kiss. Wow. Yeah. When did you have your first kiss? I was a really late bloomer. I had my first kiss my freshman year of high school. Whoa. I know. How about you? I don't want to say now. <laughs> no, I I'm a weirdo. You're probably normal. No, no, no. I'm like a, such a weirdo in the opposite direction. I had my first kiss when I was in preschool underneath a table and a boy. And then it went downhill from there. I kissed so many boys after that. It's oh embarrassing. My. It's embarrassing. Kissing bandit. It's because you were so was. pretty. Is that right? Yeah. Either that or I just really like boys a lot. <laughs> well, Selena Gomez is posting up a storm. She has posted two photos that have everybody talking because she is teasing two different mystery Whoa. men. So let's break it down. So earlier today, Selena shared a post on Instagram in a two-piece black bikini, like in all kinds of sexy, and she captioned it, coming soon at Steven Klein's studio, he he. Now, if you're wondering, he was the mastermind behind the infamous Kylie Jenner wheelchair shoot for Interview Magazine. And considering how risque Kylie's pictures were, we are definitely curious to see how Selena's are gonna turn out. Now, just a few hours later, she also posted a very um, questionable photo that has everybody thinking that maybe she's trying to get at Justin Bieber. She posted this photo of a really hot man. Selenators went into a frenzy wondering who this guy is, um, there was no caption on the photo, but we found out that his name is Christopher Mason. He's a model signed to Wilhelmina Models. But we don't know why Selena captioned, or why Selena posted this, why there's no caption. Maybe he's gonna be in a music video. Um, maybe she thinks he's cute and she wants to date him. Like, who knows? But it just seems weird. That's It's very unlike her. Yeah, that's exactly what right. I was gonna say. It's like Justin Bieber, it's not like her. That's what I'm saying. Like, I yeah. feel like she's kind of doing Justin's game because Justin, I mean, he really loves to post photos and just, I don't Jabs. know, just really not nice things. If I were Selena, I'd be upset. So not sure what this is about. Yeah. I'm sure she will explain because she is very open. So we'll wait and see, but the guy's hot. Can't mm. blame her for posting it. He's really hot. And because Bieber can't let anyone else have the spotlight, no. he's putting himself back into the news sporting a gold tooth on Instagram. He first started this trend in 2013, and now he's got the metal back in his mouth, and we don't know why. Um, it looks weird, right? I hate it. Yeah, I'm not into it either. Like, Nelly could pull it off, Bieber. I don't even like not it on so Nelly. Much. I mean, Nelly's okay, but like the gold tooth, I just can't get behind. No, I agree with you. Um, well, speaking of get behind. <laughs> what? <laughs> there are more rumors about Justin Bieber dating or hanging out or hooking up with Kourtney Kardashian. A source told People Magazine that the hookup is quote, an ego boost for Bieber. And rumors have been swirling about these two hooking up and they were seen out together Friday night and now the magazine is reporting that it's been going on for a few months and the source says he is used to being swooned by young girls that have nothing else going on. Court is a hot mom with a career. The source is saying it's not about revenge on Lord Disick. He more thought, wow, and couldn't believe that Courtney would actually go for him. And he brags about how hot she is. Who, Justin? Yes. This is a publicity stunt. Mark my words, these two might be, hey, they might be hooking up. I would not put that past any yeah. of them. But they just want to play with the media because that's what they do best. I mean, nobody yeah. plays with the media better than the Kardashians. For sure. And Justin Bieber. 
Are you ready for some Christmas and chill? Yes. yes. What's Christmas and chill? That means spending time during the holidays and getting pregnant or something. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not ready for the chill part. Christmas baby. And I'm ready for the Christmas part because Ariana Grande <laughs> is teasing some brand new holiday tunes, you guys, that she's releasing today Whoa. on an EP, which is crazy. So over the past week, you guys have probably noticed that Ari's been teasing her fans with a lot of messages on Twitter that were holiday themed. The first indication that we we're gonna get new music was when she responded to someone who asked when she was gonna be releasing True Love and she said, quote, soon. And you're getting more than just one. Then yesterday, she started tweeting some lyrics out to these songs. And now Ariana has released snippets of all the songs on the EP, and we have got them for you right here, right now. Enjoy. It ain't even cold outside, now where I'm from. Feeling like it's mid July, under the skin. By the way, that last song was called Wit It, Milk and Cookies. And I think that was my favorite one. I don't know, I love that she does Christmas music. I mean, yeah. really, I think she could dethrone Mariah Carey as like the Christmas queen. If she doesn't go off the deep end, for sure. Yeah, she's got plenty, I think she's gonna be okay. I think she's I gonna too. be okay. And I think that she could replace Mariah Carey, Mariah Carey and I love me some Mariah, but um, I also love me some Ariana Grande, so I'm gonna be buying I the EP. The best of me, and I'm gonna keep on coming back incestually. Does she say incestually? I don't know. I think that's not eventually? what she says. Maybe eventually. Incestually eventually. is probably illegal. Eventually. Just saying. <laughs> so Jennifer Lawrence may have gotten a little bit too excited during a sex scene that she did with Chris Pratt during their movie called Passengers. And I don't blame her. I mean, Chris Pratt is a hot guy. <laughs> um, I've always wondered how actresses who are quasi-attracted to their co-stars hold it back. Well, I'm not sure if Jennifer Lawrence actually did that or not. She was hanging out with Seth Meyers and actually revealed to him that it was really, really awkward shooting the sex scene and that she didn't want to talk about it beforehand and she, to Chris Pratt, because yeah. that makes it awkward, right? right? Like, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? And she didn't want to talk to him about it after. How much do you talk about it ahead of time? Like, well, you don't. I mean, right. you can't. It's so uncomfortable. I'm not going to be like, so, what do you think? Like, you know, are you going to hump me once? Are you going to be on top? Like, <laughs> you don't talk about it at all. But Jennifer wasn't so concerned that she was gonna fail the sex scene and not do a good job. Okay. She was concerned that she would go like too far and oh. have to like reel her back in. But the, right. your worst nightmare is, is it too much? Yeah. Are they gonna be like, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what to do. Cut, 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 cut! Yeah, like Jennifer! Whoa! Which leads us to the question we all want to know, did her worst nightmare actually come true? Did you get a note of too much or too little? Did you, did they? have any direction for you? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> all I want to know is what Anna Ferris thinks about all this. I don't know, something tells me that Jay, Jay Law is just being silly. I know, she's a girl's girl. I don't think she would like want to- Move in on somebody else's territory. Exactly, <laughs> but if I were married to someone and saw someone else speaking about them like that on national TV, I might be a little bit mad. A little mad? <laughs> So everybody's teasing us in Hollywood. What do they all mean? What is Selena teasing us? Who's that guy? What's Justin teasing us? And is he and Courtney really getting it on? Ooh, and where was your first kiss? Candles was in the shower. Where was yours? Give it to us, don't be embarrassed. Give it to us. Yeah, well, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Own it in the comment section, you guys. Let's chat about it. Also, you can hit me up at Hey Aaron Robinson at Danielle Robay, Danielle yeah. Robay on Instagram and Twitter and all those usual places. All that Let's stuff. chat about it, you guys. We love you so much. The holidays are almost here. We are so excited. And you guys, we'll be back here tomorrow on Friday. Does Niall really want to marry Selena? According to him, he does. Click in that box on the left for that. And on the right, Justin gets a um, gnarly neck tattoo and we feel a certain kind of way about it.